The story that I have for you today is a traditional Japanese folk tale. It's called Hats for the Jizos. I'll explain later what is a Jizo as I tell the story. And the way that I'm going to tell this very traditional Japanese story is using a technique called Kamishibai. There it is. Kamishibai. Kamishibai means paper theatre or paper story. And it's basically a technique where you have a series of picture cards. Okay. Uh, very helpfully, the text is printed on the back for those of you who aren't comfortable with telling. Uh, and it's even not only in English, but in this version, we've also got the Japanese on the back there as well. Now, if when I was telling the story for an audience, I would probably be holding the paper here, or I'd rest them on my lap here and then hold it up. Okay, like this, so it'll be here, and then as I need to take a picture out, I just change it here and use my lap to support the actual cards. But for the video, I'm going to come bring the camera much closer, and so here, and the cards may well disappear from the picture now and again. Okay, but that's just again changing the way that you tell a story to suit different audience, different medium, and that's a very important thing to remember when you are storytelling, adjust the way you tell the story to suit the audience, the occasion. Mukashi, Mukashi. That's how all traditional Japanese stories begin. It's sort of like once upon a time, means a long time ago in a certain place. Mukashi, Mukashi. In a certain village, there lived an old man and an old woman. Now they were so poor, they'd had very little money, they were so poor they didn't have a single grain of rice to prepare any rice cakes for the coming New Year's celebrations. So the old woman felt very sad and she brought out a piece of cloth, a beautiful piece of cloth that she had woven herself. And she said to her husband, dear, why don't you take this to the marketplace and sell it? And the old man said, Oh, I can't do that. Uh, you've taken months to sew and, and put all those details in. No, 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 no. And she said, Oh, don't you worry about that, dear. You take it to the market and see if you can get a good price for it. And the old man said, Well, if that's all right, dear. He set off for the town. And as he went, he called out, Cloth for sale! Cloth for sale! Uh, who'd like to buy some uh, lovely homemade cloth? It's for sale! Uh, but of course, it was coming up to New Year, and all the people, and uh, there were many of them, they were very busy buying all the things they needed to celebrate the New Year. Nobody was interested in buying his cloth. And all day he trudged up and down the snowy streets calling out, uh, Cloth for sale! Uh, cloth for sale, until his voice became quite hoarse, and then suddenly, boom, he bumped into someone. Oh, 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 oh I'm sorry, said the old man, I wasn't looking where I was going, I'm very sad. Oh dear, no, 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 said the old man, don't apologise, it's my fault, why are you feeling sad? The old man said, oh, well, I came to town to try and sell this beautiful cloth, you see. Nobody wants to buy it. Oh, dear, that's sad, said the other man. Well, to tell you the truth, I came to sell my hats. But nobody wants to buy my hats either. Oh, dear, said the old man. I feel sorry for you. Hey, said the other man, I've got an idea. Since neither of us can sell anything, why don't we just trade what we have? I'll give you my hats and you give me your cloth. Isn't that better than just going home with what we started off with? And the old man said, Oh, yes, I think that's very nice. Are you sure that's all right? And the other man said, Yes, I'll be happy to. And so the old man exchanged the cloth for the five straw hats. Oh, five hats. That's very nice, he said. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
and off the two men went with their new uh, goods. Now, the old man was very happy, but as he walked home, as he walked home, oh, the snow, the snow began to fall and fall ever more thickly, until suddenly, up ahead, he could make out something in the snow. What could that be? He saw these vague human-like shapes. As he got closer, he saw that they were six Jesus. A Jesus? A Jesus is like a guardian of the children. And that's what these statues were. They were the guard, the spirits of the children. They were standing in the middle of the field, and now they were covered with snow, and they looked so cold. The old man felt very sorry for them, and so he thought, what can I do? And he thought, I know. <laughs> this tomorrow is New Year's Day. No one's going to bring any rice cakes for you. It's not going to be much holiday for you, my dear Jesus. With all this snow, I bet you're feeling very cold too. Hmm. Oh, he thought, I just happen to have these straw hats. Why don't I put them on you to protect you? That'll keep you nice and warm this new year. And so he took that and he began to place the hats on the Jesus. One, two, three, four, five. Oh dear. Oh dear. He only had how many straw hats? Yes, five straw hats. But how many Jesus were there? Huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh dear, what could he do? Uh, suddenly he had a thought. All I have to put on you, dear Jesus, number six, <laughs> is this a scarf I'm wearing. <laughs> it's very thin, <laughs> but it's better than nothing here. And so the old man took the scarf off and tied it on the sixth and final Jesus. <laughs> there we are. And off he went. And as he walked away, he thought, good. It worked out just right. I've managed to put that hat on the final Jizo. And he walked away without feeling the least bit cold. Now, when he got home, who was waiting for him? His wife. And when she saw him come home bareheaded and without anything in his hand, she said, Oh, husband, what happened? Are you all right? And the old man began to tell her all the things that had happened. He said, oh, well, he said, first this thing happened, and then that thing happened, and then this thing happened, and then that thing happened, and then oh, 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 I ended up exchanging uh, your lovely cloth for these five straw hats. It was the best I could do. Uh, and then on the way home, I saw these six Jesus standing in the snow, so uh, I gave them the hats. Is that all right? And his wife said, of course. Of course, that was a very fine thing for you to do, husband. I'm very proud of you. Yes. Now, since we don't have any special food, why don't we just celebrate the new year by eating and drinking what we always do? At least we'll be together. That night, the old man and his wife sat before their fire and they were very happy. They felt young at heart as they nibbled on their plain vegetables and ate their steaming white rice. And they sipped hot wine, not sake, just hot water. But it was a good new year because they were together and they both felt happy. And after eating their simple meal, the old couple went to bed. Throughout the night, the snow continued to fall steadily, fall steadily all over the land. The old couple's tiny house kept them warm, but it was almost buried in the snow. But as they slept, suddenly, in the wee, wee hours of the night, the old couple woke up, for they heard from far, far away, coming through the snowy silence, the sound of chanting. And it went like this. 
Joe E. Yassa, Joe E. Yassa, Sha'an, Sha'an, Joe E. Yassa, Joe E. Yassa, Sha'an, Sha'an. The sound grew louder and louder as the people came nearer. Joe E. Yassa, Joe E. Yassa, Sha'an, Sha'an. Wife sat up in bed. She said to her husband, Oh, husband, what could it be? What are those voices? The old man said, Oh, they sound to me like people carrying something very heavy. Chanting voices grew nearer and nearer the old couple's house. Joe E. Yassa, Joe E. Yassa, Shan, Shan, where's the house of the old man who gave the hats to the Jesus? Oh, good husband. I think it's the Jesus. They've come to our house. I can hear them. They're right outside our door. And the old couple listened. Joe E. Yassa, Joe E. Yassa, Shan, Shan. And suddenly, boom! They heard a loud crash as something heavy was put down on the ground. And then the couple, very afraid, oh, what is that horrible sound? The old man and the old woman covered their ears, trembling with fright. But they did not hear the sound again. Instead, they heard Dear old man, dear old woman, stay well, sleep well. Dear old man, dear old woman, stay well, sleep well. Dear old man, dear old woman, stay well, sleep well. The sound faded away as the Jesus disappeared into the distance. Finally, the old couple could contain their curiosity no longer, and they got up out of bed, and they came and opened the door. And when they opened it, they saw, shh, oh, what in the world is this? Lying there in front of their door was a huge straw bag that was full of the most wonderful things. It was overflowing with food and presents for the new year. Rice, rice cakes, fish, beautiful kimono, and precious gold coins. The couple were so glad, so happy. For there, on the road, covered over by the steadily falling snow, the old man and the old woman could make out there, right there in the distance, the six Jesus as they slowly disappeared into the darkness and heard on the wind, dear old man, Dear old woman, stay well, sleep well. Dear old man, dear old woman, stay well, sleep well. And the old man and the old woman had a wonderful new year, and they both lived happily ever after.